Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 8th. This is for the 8th. We're not going to take that. Anyway, <laughs> this is for somebody. It won't be for everybody. We are just going to see what comes up for May 8th. But the timing's fluid, right? So, you know, there are no clocks. What You know, what is what it is. Let's just see what we got for the 8th. This is my favorite deck. Decided to go with my trusty friend for the day. Maybe I can get it right the first time. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Go with my favorite deck and maybe we'll just get it right the first time and see what happens. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles. This is something, there's no movement, stalemate, stalling. Um, hmm. Ooh, Page of Wands. This is not good news. <laughs> it's not good news. Ooh, gotta love that tug of war. But this is letting go, right? It's reversed. Somebody may receive a message that they don't want to hear, honestly. Could be dealing with somebody who is mean spirited that doesn't have anything good to say. Mm -hmm. Well, we do have a mean spirited individual here. <laughs> Absolutely. We have somebody here who may be severing ties. Okay? They may be severing the ties. Deciding to take that next step. Step into the unknown. Um, we have a juggler here trying to keep things balanced, trying to keep afloat. Things are too much. There's too much going on right now. Things may be a little bit chaotic. Oh my goodness gracious. So we got somebody here who... I mean, the page of pentacles reversed. This is, there's, there's a blockage here. This is a dead end. We have somebody that here that's definitely getting distracted. There could be money problems. There are financial issues. There could be children, problems with the children. Children could be costing money. We have somebody that's not planning sufficiently. They're not wanting to put in any work. They're not wanting to put in any effort. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we definitely have somebody here who is not wanting to be an adult at this time. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, I know I don't want to grow up. But I want to grow up. Ooh. This is a card of faith. It's a card of trust. It's a card of believing. This is your inner guide. Your inner guide is speaking to you. This is somebody, somebody is dealing with a person that just doesn't have any get up and go right now. It's like they don't, they're, they're lacking energy. There's no energy here to put into much of anything. I don't feel like going to work. I don't feel like getting out of bed. And I don't have any emotional anything to give you. I just don't have anything to give right now. You know, we got somebody here that is maybe needing to focus on themselves. There's a lot of tension. There's a lot of uh, conflict going on in their life. We have somebody here that may be withdraw withdrawn, completely withdrawn. I ain't got nothing to offer you right now. Nothing. No energy. No love. No effort. I just don't. I can't. I'm not stable. I'm not stable. Somebody isn't feeling stable, solid, secure, whatever. I mean, we could get into that all day long, but it's like I'm not emotionally available. I'm just not available for anything. We got somebody here that is in a, like almost like in a negative state of mind. 
not in a positive state of mind, put it that way. It's like giving up the fight. Now, five, five, five. We gotta love those fives, right? Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. You know what's going on here. We got some life changes going on. Some major life changes. These are divinely guided. It's like up above, your higher power, whatever, is saying it's time to let go of the old. You got to let go of the old to bring in the new. It's a time of personal freedom and you see 555, five, five, life choices, life changes. They're major ones and you're struggling, struggling to let go of the old to bring in the new. You got to have faith and you've got to trust. You got to trust in the path. You got to trust in the divine. You got to trust in your inner guide. Somebody is probably letting go of an old commitment. They're letting go of it right now. Could be it could have been a marriage, whatever. It's a commitment. Letting go of a commitment. This is letting go of a commitment. And it's a struggle to sever those ties. It is a struggle. Fives are power struggles. Five, five, five. It's there. Somebody is struggling to sever those ties. There could be children involved. Somebody is not wanting to put in effort. You know, I don't. I don't have. I don't want to. I don't want to do this. Things are a little overwhelming right now. I think people are. Somebody is very, very overwhelmed. Somebody's. They're, they say they're trying to adapt, trying to find balance. Somebody's just not wanting to put in any effort to work together with another person. It's like I don't, I, I, I can't give you any of my time, any of my effort to work together on a commitment in love. I just don't have the desire, really. I just, I don't. Somebody is just like, I don't, I can't do it. There's too much going on. Somebody's been clinging to the past. Holding on to it. A past contract. A past... This is a contract, like I said. A past relationship. Uh, this is a past relationship. Okay? Somebody is holding on. But it looks like they're in the process of letting go. This is moving forward. Moving forward very quickly. Somebody may receive a message that they don't want to hear. i got to be honest with you. This is a contract. This is a false contract. It's, it's a... Unbalanced, unharmonious contract, right? It is. There's no, there's no reciprocation there. Or there's no coming together with it. Somebody is not able to take any action because of a contract that... Oh, this lover's card. It's like they're on. They're indecisive. They're indecisive. Somebody is indecisive about severing ties with that past contract. There's definitely indecision here, and a need to bring balance back. Somebody is not putting in the effort they need to sever those ties, or they are. I'm not sure. This is not putting in effort. Indecisive. Not taking action. Nine of Pentacles. There's there's insecurities. There's a need for discipline. There's, a, there's somebody that needs to take action. They must take action. Keep in mind that whoever it is that you are waiting for, they don't complete you. You complete you. You complete yourself. 
don't hold on to the persona that you need this false contract or you need this partnership to be successful, to bring balance to your life. You can bring balance and harmony to your life by taking your own action and taking care of yourself. Somebody is needing to take care of themselves and not rely on a partnership to do it for them. This is a final decision. This is another contract. So we have a con we have two contracts here. Contract here, contract here. This is uh There could be some legal issues going on that are, that are causing some tension in a person's life. Maybe it's cost somebody some money. There could be some court-related situations that are causing havoc, per se. Um, this is karma. It's a card of karma. Integrity, finality. Somebody is feeling a heaviness surrounding a choice. There is a heaviness. And, and somebody is trying to find that balance, trying to figure out what the next step is. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy decision. And we have somebody here that keeps on going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I have to tell you, that you, you do what's right for you. You take care of you. Mm. Wow. Some, look, at we got all the pages. All of them. All four of them. Pages are messages coming in. But doesn't like the, look like these messages are what you want to hear. It's it, or, or there's no messages coming in. I mean, most three of these pages are reversed, so there could be no messages, and that's not what you want to hear. You want a message. You don't want to, you know, no message is a message, right? So you, somebody may not be receiving a message, and that's definitely not what they want to hear. But you have to realize that whoever this is is going through a very troublesome time. They they have some heavy issues on the plate on their plate. Um and two of swords reversed. Oh God. There's there's pain. There's definitely indecision. I think we have somebody here that is uh overwhelmed. They're definitely overwhelmed. They're being emotionally guarded. Uh, they may be holding on to anxiety and resentment. Definitely unable to make a decision or indecisive and needing to make a decision. But for some reason, maybe they're just waiting for that right time. There's curiosity here. Holding on. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. We have somebody here that has a lot of doubts. They have a lot of fear. They ha they've gained a lot of strength. They've gained a lot of wisdom. They've been wounded. This is a very determined individual that... Uh, is holding on to something. He's holding on to something. He's very persistent. This is a very persistent individual. He's standing tall. Make sure this is okay. It is. So I feel like we. This somebody may receive a message, or they may not. No message is a message.
somebody it's like somebody's waiting for a message somebody is waiting for a message they're waiting they're waiting for justice they're waiting to get something you know waiting for they're, they're, it's like they're waiting for somebody to do the right thing but not realizing that they have you have to take care of yourself take care of yourself don't rely on another person to bring you balance don't rely on another person don't hold on to a person that hurts you it doesn't mean to let go I mean yes you can you can still hold on to them but I'm trying to explain this the right way <clears throat> you complete you you complete you that's what I'm trying to say don't don't give a person that much control over you. Anyway, I don't know where that message was coming from, but I feel like we have somebody here that has been waiting for movement, you know, waiting for the message without pages are messages. Somebody has been waiting for a message. And it feels like there's been no action taken. There's been no messages being received. There's been no forward movement with these knights reversed. There's been no action. There's been no action because somebody is protecting themselves. They're protecting themselves. They're guarding themselves. They're 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 going. They have these this, these overwhelming fears, overwhelming worry. There's anxiety. There's stress. There's information overload. There's, there's chaos, there's too much going on right now, and they just can't give to the situation. And somebody has to realize that it's almost like, let me get another card. Ooh. You gotta be patient, okay? Patience is needed. Patience is needed. We talked about this yesterday, didn't we? This is a big, huge opportunity. Somebody is about to wake up. This is an awakening. This is a wake up call. It is, see? This is this is a wake up call. It's like whatever whatever this is, this is a this is a resurrection. It is. It's a resurrection. It's like somebody is going to go through some sort of awakening. That there is a new path that leads to something bigger and better. And they may give up their stance. This is going down that new path to abundance, going down that new path to stability and security. This is a huge offer, you know. Somebody might just let go of the control and see the truth, hear the truth. This is the truth being revealed. And I saw another one, the truth being revealed too. Oh, the two of swords reversed, the truth coming out. So there's a there there's the truth a truth may be revealed. There could be a revelation, an epiphany, a wake up call, whatever. That you know there is this is huge. It's a, this is huge. So this could come out of the blue. All of a sudden, the truth is 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 revealed, and somebody sees the light. Somebody sees the light and is in, in a contract, whatever it is. It's like all of a sudden they just see the light. They wake up. And they know what path to take. They know what path is going to lead them to stability and security and abundance. There's been a lack of, there's been a need, somebody's been trying to control, trying to control, trying to control, trying to prove something, trying to prove something, I don't know, maybe to themselves, whatever. Too many responsibilities for one thing. We have somebody here that has had too many responsibilities 
that has caused them to be seriously overwhelmed. We have a lot of very much overwhelmed here. But this is releasing tension, severing ties with the contract that's not logical. I mean, it's not practical. It's not feasible. It's, it's caused chaos in their life. It's cost them money. There's a contract here that is coming to an end, honestly. Somebody is severing ties with somebody that they were committed to with that commitment card right there in the middle. You know, it's like there's a commitment that they, you know, that is the ties are being severed. And that's not an easy task. It's not an easy task. And I, I, I feel like we have somebody here that is probably going through some sort of awakening and they are releasing the past. This is release. The judgment card is releasing the past. That's what it means. It's also a card of forgiveness. Something that has been hidden, a secret, is about to be revealed. It is. Somebody is, you know, something, a truth is about to be revealed. Somebody has been going through a midlife crisis. And they've probably been rejecting other offers because of the chaos, because of the instability, because of the drama, children, family, whatever. There's definitely a mess here. So somebody has been rejecting a partnership by the looks of things because they're still holding on to a, a past one that needs to be released. <laughs> holding on to a past one that needs to be released. That's, that's that other contract. Um... Ten of Cups. It's the end of one relationship. This is a completion. It's the end. It is. It's the end of one relationship and probably the beginning of another. Somebody is making a change. There's no joke. There is. Somebody is making a decision. And it's like they get this epiphany. It's um it's like it's a it's like a Yeah, it's an epiphany. It happens out of the blue. It's time to go after my happiness. Time to go after security and stability. No closure. Somebody may be completing a cycle, completing a chapter without adequate closure. There's a feeling of emptiness. But there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. Things are about to get better. Deep fulfillment is coming. It is. It's coming. Happiness is coming. Stability is coming. But it's after release. That is what that is. That judgment card is a release of a contract that is no longer it's no longer meant to be. Alright? It's no longer meant to be. Someone is in the process of taking those steps, making that choice. It's a painful choice. They've been struggling. Expect the unexpected. This is big. It's huge. It is going to lead to wish fulfillment, but you got to be patient and know your worth. Know your worth because, I mean, this is a value. This is, she's, she's very valuable. She knows her value. She knows her worth. This is the birth of a new life.
this pain and suffering. I'll tell you about her again, like I always do. Right? You know what she does. She has to go through pain to get that reward. So, yeah, there's a reward coming. It's a big one. It's an, it, it is. Somebody is going to receive a blessing for the pain that they have endured. But it takes time because you don't get that blessing until you have dealt with the pain. And the pain isn't pretty. So, anyway, we do have a new beginning here, but it's after somebody finds the closure that they have been lacking in a partnership or commitment that has failed. So, what do I have for today? I feel as though we ha we have a, I mean, things happen in stages. We have a release. Somebody is releasing. Somebody is going through a major awakening. They are struggling, 555. Five, five. They are struggling to release. It, there's probably no communication, honestly. If there is, it may not be what you want to hear, okay? These, there's no action really being taken towards another person with that Nine of Pentacles reverse. It's about me right now. i got to take care of me. I'm dealing with some pain. The reward will come. She gives birth when God says so. Usually. I don't want to hear any comments. Oh, I was in you. So I don't give a shit about that. This is what I'm telling you. She typically, she's supposed to give birth when God says so. When the time is right, you will receive the blessing that you are meant to have. But you got to be patient and you got to wait for the right time. Don't push. Relax. Let it happen. That's what I got for today. What time is it? Oh my God, that... Oh, I hit pause. No wonder. I was going to say 11 minutes. That ain't right. Anyhow. Um, yeah. Birth of a new life. That's what this is. But it don't come easy and it's not going to be painless. Talk to you later.